My name is Kayla. I am a graduate of Master of Science in Clinical Nutrition. I was born with a congenital disability called gastroschisis and it led to many adversities through my lifetime. In my early 20s, I was having a bout of gastrointestinal problems and I was constantly seeking medical attention. They basically said, with this rate of how your body is, you know, functioning, you have five years. So I really got into what I was eating, how it affected me, tapping into my body because it was up to me and not the doctors to help myself. So within the three years of me constantly trying to see what worked and what didn't, um, it led me to start my career in nutrition and dietetics. It made me look at things through a new lens. So instead of being so hard on myself, I let go of those things that I could not control and I accepted how I reacted to them. So instead of, you know, throwing in the towel or being upset because I was in the hospital and I had all this homework to do, I saw it as a viewpoint of, oh, I have my laptop with me. I'm so glad I bring my backpack everywhere. And so I'm able to do this. I'm grateful for this opportunity because I was not always this person that could just go through it and accept it with self-love. I became bitter, I was upset, I was very depressed, anxious all the time because I never knew when I was going to get sick or if I was going to be in the hospital. When you're facing adversity, obviously friends and family are very important, but in the Sonoran community, I would say your peers, your faculty, and then the resources that we have too. That's how I found resilience was community and I didn't have to do it all alone. I was a person that thought I always had to do everything alone because it was my battle. So through resilience, I have also found that there are people out there that care too, and that makes the resilience that much more tangible.